Alright, so 2020 is one hell of a ride. We had the World War III situation, the wildfire, the protest that's happening around the world. You ain't got nothing to say, what, you on hush mouth? Like the bitch you is? Like the bitch you is? The Queen of Bulls simply returning, the rise of Karen, Last of Us 2, and the banning of TikTok. Oh wait, wait, that's a good thing. I'm gonna talk about The Last of Us 2. Note that this is my opinion. If you like the game, then good on you. I'm glad you're able to enjoy something that me and the others couldn't. In The Last of Us 1, Joel annihilated the Firefly Rambo style. He took humanity's last hope. The vaccine wasn't guaranteed, but there was hope. This journey made you go through the four entire season. Summer, fall, winter, spring. A broken man who lost his daughter at the start of an outbreak. He's miserable, has nothing to fight for, disconnected with the world. And just to develop a father-daughter bond with Ellie. Found that she's worth fighting for. He's finally alive. Now, before he loses Ellie, he almost drowned, got knocked out, and the, f the leader of the Firefly refused to let Joel see Ellie one last time before she dies. You could say that he's morally right or morally wrong, but in the end, he had a human reaction where they were just going to take him away right after he gets knocked out. His instinct just kicked in where he has to save Ellie. My dude does not want to go back to the abyss of despair. Because she was the only reason why he kept fighting. He views Ellie as a daughter. Before all this, he wanted to get rid of her and not associate with her at all. Until this happened. Is this really all they had to worry about? Boys? Movies? Deciding which shirt goes with which skirt? It's bizarre. Get up. We're leaving. Come on. And if I say no? Do you even realize what your life means? Huh? Running off like that, putting yourself at risk? It's pretty goddamn stupid. Well, I guess we're both disappointed with each other then. What do you want from me? Admit that you wanted to get rid of me the whole time! Tommy knows this area. Oh, better fuck than... that... Well, I'm sorry. I trust him better than I trust myself. Stop with the bullshit. What are you so afraid of? That I'm gonna end up like Sam? I can't get infected. I can take care of myself. How many close calls have we had? Well, we seem to be doing all right so far. And now you'll be doing even better with Tommy. Not her, you know. What? Maria told me about Sarah. Ellie? And... You are treading on some mighty thin ice here. I'm sorry about your daughter, Joel, but I have lost people too. You have no idea what loss is. Everyone I have cared for has either died or left me. Everyone fucking except for you. So don't tell me that I would be safer with someone else because the truth is I would just be more scared. You're right. You're not my daughter. And I sure as hell ain't your dad. And we are going our separate ways. The sheer amount of guilt that Joel had in his mind after talking to Ellie change his perspective on her. You watching movies tonight? Where is this lab of theirs? It's all the way out, University of Eastern Colorado. Go big horns. Ellie, get off your horse. Give it on back to Tommy. I'm gonna hang on to this fella, that's all right with you. Go on, don't make me repeat myself. What are you doing? Your wife kind of scares me. I don't want her coming after me. Sorry for stealing your horse. Well, come back to town. Let's discuss it at least. You know me, my mind's all made up. University, Eastern Colorado. How do I find this lab? It's in the science building. Looks like a giant mirror. You can't miss it. You take care of that wife here. place for you here, you know? You 
good? I'm good. Adios, little brother. They went from hating each other to warming up to each other to becoming a family. And most of the YouTubers who were playing it back then loved it. I guess I was shook by Jackson, too. You don't think Joel deserved what he got? I think he deserved worse. I just... I just wish I didn't take part in it. I get it. What kind of a person could do that, right? I'm not saying that. Let's see if there's a way to the hatch. After our morning... I wouldn't mind a few minutes with these guys. I hear that. Sorry I grew up. You should try it. Oh, yeah? How do I do that? Should I go find the people that killed my family? Cut into them? I could torture them until they're crying, you know? I think you're doing this. Always done the right thing. You're a piece of shit, Abby. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna wrap this up before it gets too long. Look how they greased Ellie up. She looks like a deflated Squidward. Oh my god, they even greased the other girl up too. The only person who got the best glow up is the doctor. Oh damn. She biting fingers like Mike Tyson bites ear. <laughs> It's okay, Micah. I forgive you for killing Arthur. Fucking Christ! Of course, she's somewhere in there. The fuck? 